Hi guys, so I, maybe I should take my glasses off. I feel like maybe the glare is really annoying. So, I am back with an extra video for this week. Uh, I normally update on Wednesdays and you saw that video yesterday. But today's Thursday and I'm putting this video up and I don't know, it's kind of random. Like I said, my channel was gonna be random, but it's just something I wanna talk about right now. And I don't know if I wanna talk about it to, I don't know my reasonings. Maybe it's for my own sake, really, for me to look back and for me to, I don't know, if, I ever, if I'm ever feeling some type of way, maybe for me to watch it and for me to help myself. Don't know if it's for that reason or maybe it can help somebody else um, that's going through what I'm about to talk about. Um, so yeah, just gonna get into so, it. I want to say Tuesday night. All right. So the other day, I was going. I was. It was around like two, three o'clock in the morning. I'm just laying here, and I'm going through my old notes in my phone, like really old ones, um, like a year and like years ago. Blah blah blah. And I come across this one, where it was a year ago, and. I don't know if I was trying to write like a journal entry or whatever, or maybe it was just on my mind, or maybe I was trying to write a book. I don't know what the hell was going through my mind at the time, but it was basically about like my ex and first loves and how come love isn't like the movies um, or how everybody explains love to be. Like my grandparents and everything. like their love and how it was different back in the day and how it is now and sometimes you can't believe that it could be anything like the movies. Yeah, or... I guess I was talking about that and I'm actually going to read the note to you guys. I don't even know if this is the best idea, but I am. I'm going to read it. Whatever. So here it is. It says, did you ever sit there and wonder how is your life supposed to play out? I was thinking about this lately, recently even more than ever. I am only 20. I'm only 21 right now. What am I doing? Um, I'm only 20, but it seems to be on my mind every single day. I just got done watching this movie called The Best of Me. Let me tell you, this movie is freaking amazing. And it just has my mind all over the place tonight. It's about this beautiful young couple who went through some difficulties, then by faith ended up finding their way back to each other. So, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, you should probably should watch it. Anyway, there's this young couple, they did it when they were young, they were in love with each other, their paths split, they parted off, um, they were mad at each other for a very long time. By fate, they were brought back together when they were older, turns out. Woman's married, she has kids, whole family, he, he's, he doesn't, but anyway, they ended up spending a weekend together because of the guy that they grew up around, this older guy, he took care of them, and he was like a family member, I don't, you guys have to see it, I can't explain the whole movie, anyway, they spent a weekend together, end up falling back in love with each other, but because of the things that that told them apart, they can't be together. They separate, she realizes she really wants to be with him, and, but he doesn't know. He ends up getting killed, basically, and she, I don't know, this huge thing, I don't know how to explain it, no! Oh, anyway, her son is in the hospital, and because he got in a car accident from drink drive, drunk driving, and he needs a heart transplant, um, or else he dies. Um, so usually when you get, like, transplants and stuff, like, you can find out, like, a year later, supposedly, of, like, who, who was donated from or whatever, um, who's a donor. Turns out, at the same time that the kid needs, around the same time that the kid needs a surgery, right before that, the guy had got shot and he died. Turns out, a year later, the heart that was donated to the son was the guy's heart. And I don't know, so it's just a really beautiful story. 
And I don't know, I just think that's amazing how like they just ended up being a part of each other's life. Anyway, you guys have to see the movie. I just freaking blabbered on about it because it's so amazing. I'm about to cry now. Anyway, let me get back to reading my note. They really love each other. Why does true love and fate only happen in movies? And that's one of the things that's been on my mind so much is love like the movies. At the beginning of the year, I went through a pretty bad long-term breakup. I was the second year of high school when I started dating this guy, and I was so in love with him. He was my first love, and I fell for everything he did and said, even if it was a lie to cover up the messed up things he did behind my back. I always knew he was a player, but I never seemed to listen to everyone, what everyone else had to say about him, because I was so blind to it all. I won't say that the years we were together were all that bad. My motto for a long time was, I let the good cover the bad, and I did all the time. Dakota, that was freaking deep. Where were you going there? I don't know. I don't know where I was going there. Anyway, the movie gave me the feels and I I guess I was in a hard place at the time going through my ba my breakup and everything and I guess I had no faith in love and any of that anymore and I whatever. I'm just gonna say right now I can happily say that I am completely over my ex and my breakup, and my first love, and I'm happy. I have no heart feelings about my ex and whatever he did to me and all the scars that he gave me. Basically, I'm trying to say that they are... Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just blabbering on. This is just a random freaking video. Basically, I want to say that Love like the movies, and true love, fate, and destiny, and blah blah blah, who you're supposed to spend the rest of your life with. Um, just because you go through a hard breakup, or like, hard breakup, or like, if you think your first love is, and then you feel like it's nothing's gonna happen after Don't that. Don't lose faith in the future and destiny, basically. Like, don't. Don't believe that it doesn't exist, because it does exist, uh, at least I believe so. Uh, no matter what I brought, what I went through in my past relationship, and I don't know, I don't even know if I can speak for a lot of people, because people have been in more relationships than I have. I've only been in one long-term relationship. Other guys I dated when I was like 14 for like two days. Anyway, my ex was my longest relationship, and I don't know if I can speak for other people. I'm just speaking from my experience. I went through a lot. I was with him for a very long time. But I, and I lost faith for a while. I thought true love, I got bitter. I thought love didn't exist. Um, I thought every guy was like him. But truthfully, it's not. It's not true. Right now, I'm single as a freaking Pringle. And I'm okay with that. I'm just know, I just know that I'm happy happy where I stand and I still do believe in love and true love and destiny and whenever that will happen who knows but it will it maybe will. talking about this maybe helping me out a little bit I don't know just reading over that note that I had wrote like maybe a year ago yeah a year ago well a little bit over here just me looking back at that and seeing like how I was and how miserable I was obviously and I had no faith in anything um I don't know and where I stand now and how I was able to and how I was able to forget that I even wrote that or like how miserable I was um I don't know um time heals and you get over things it's just the way you out way, way you have your outlook on everything and my outlook really is, if you're ever in a dark place from a breakup, whatever, if you need to get over a breakup, just know that that darkness that you're in doesn't last for long. Your, your heart heals if you let it. If you let it. It's one thing to be stuck in it and you're just in a dark place that you can't, the hole that you're in, you can't climb out of it. You have to actually, I don't know, if it helps to like talk about it. Distract yourself. Distract yourself by doing like a hobby or something. Work extra hard so that you actually have no time to do anything else. I don't know. That helps a lot. Um, 
At least it helped me at least. Um, yeah, get a hobby. And don't ever be bitter or dark about anything. Don't ever... I don't want to say don't ever... Don't ever have hatred for the person that did fucked up things to you. Because it doesn't help. Having hatred and being revengeful and any of that such doesn't help anybody. It's not fair on either side, no matter what they did to you. Um, it doesn't help. You just have to stay positive and learn from it and learn from the situation and turn the bad situation into... I don't want to say good because a bad situation is not, I don't know if it's good, but try to change your mind into something good so you, it keeps you away from saying or doing things that are really screwed up. Because you don't want to downgrade yourself. You don't want to be like that person. It's not worth it. You don't want to be the horrible person that everybody else is. You want to be your own. And it's the only way that you can get over a situation is being the better person and standing up and just bettering yourself. Better yourself. Everything that I was put through with my ex, believe me, it was a hell of a lot, but I'm not gonna throw anybody under the bus because that's not fair, whatever. People make mistakes. But looking at where I was at that time when I wrote that to myself, and where I am now, how I'm able to look at that and just say to myself, like, Dakota, I'm happy that you actually are stronger now. Saying, if you're in that dark place, and I'm telling myself this too, if you're in a dark place at the time, the best thing that you can do is actually look at all the positive sides and know that it's not going to be that like that for long if you don't let it be. If you don't let it take over your life, and make you miserable, then it won't. Um, I don't know, some things that I did trying to take off my time, I worked a lot. I worked my ass off and I still to this day choose work over downtime because sometimes downtime, if you have too much of it, you do stupid things and you think about stupid things that you don't want to talk, you don't want to think about because then those bridges that you burnt you don't want to go back over to them because you don't want to remember. You don't want to remember the fucked up things that happened. You know what I mean? Because you you healed yourself, you fixed yourself, and you don't want to go back to that. And whatever hurt you, it's not gonna last for long if you don't let it. And don't let anything, don't let anyone or anything give you the reason to believe that love and fate and all that gooey, cushy stuff, like the movies, the love like the movies, the freaking notebook, any of that, any of that can exist, and don't let anyone ever tell you that, don't let anyone ever tell you that, because it does, it does exist, and I don't know, if all else fails, um, and you're 80 years old, and you're sitting there on your rocking chair outside on your porch, sipping your tea, and you look over, and you don't see your soulmate or anybody next to you, you can just look down. It's probably the 15 dogs that you own, and they can be your companion for the rest of your freaking life. I don't know about you guys, but I'm happy with that. But no, don't let anybody, don't let any situation make you believe that that love doesn't exist because, I don't know, truthfully, I think it can. And I know we live in a time where freaking dating apps exist and blah, 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 and it's not like the olden days. No matter how much I want it to be, it's not. But I do believe there are people out there that are so old fashioned that it does, it does exist. I haven't found that person yet, but I will. I do believe he is out there. If not, I have my dogs on standby. So yeah, guys, I don't know what the hell I was blabbering about. I don't know why I would even think about posting this, but I am. I'm gonna post it so I can look back on it, even if nobody else likes it. I like it, and it gives me happiness just to talk about this type of things because there's a lot of people out there that don't believe in what you believe in, but 
on the matters is if you believe in it and you stick to it and you don't let anybody else change your mind. So, yeah, just talking about, let me talk to my old self. Or even if I go through another freaking breakup, maybe I can look at this again and I can cheer myself up and tell myself what I'm telling everybody else. Okay, does that make sense? I don't know. If I ever go through something as horrible as I did before, I will be able to climb faster than I did before. Love you guys.